Hey, howdy, hey, partners. Today we have Space Ranger Alpha, Mo Morrison. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Back again with Mo Morrison, this time in the Space Ranger Alpha suit. Very excited, comes with a helmet, a laser gun it looks like, and I really like the packaging, just like all the others, it looks really good. Back of the box we have Mo there, standing really cool, and over here we have the other figures we can collect. I did pick up XL15 Buzz after all, so I will be reviewing that on this channel. Now what I love most about this figure is that he's really tall, which is true to scale in the movie. Mo is a very skinny, tall person. <laughs> it's cool to see in action figure form translated over in the suit. We have the Space Ranger logo on the arm, which is really great. Back, very similar to what we got for the other toys. And here's a side profile of Mo Morrison. And the expression there actually looks pretty good. I don't think it's the worst we've seen from Mo Morrison, but we will definitely do a comparison for the head sculpts. Articulation-wise, Mo Morrison could do almost Wow, it's better articulation, maybe because he has a skinnier head. It goes pretty far back, side to side. A little bit of up and down motion, nothing too crazy there. The arms do swing out like all the rest of the figures, which is good. We do have an elbow joint and 360 at the wrist. Waist articulation 360 on all these 5-inch figures are really much needed and great for posing. And then the legs as well are really great because they can all do the splits. They all have a great knee bend as well. And there's actually 360 rotation here at the bottom portion of the leg. Pretty unnatural, but at least you can still do that. But I really like that. There's so much uh, posability. Nothing really on the bottom. Does have peg holes like the others. Comes with a dome helmet. Here's Mo Morrison with the helmet on. I think it looks so good. It really completes the look to have the helmet on the head. I like that they're very clear and translucent, so you don't really, you can still tell it's Matt Morrison in there. So I really love the suit overall design. Looks really, really cool. We also get this laser gun accessory, which we've seen a lot with the crystal grade buzz and other figures. Holsters on the side if you'd like, or in the hand. Here's Mo Morrison in a dynamic pose holding the laser gun. Really like it a lot. It looks really good and it's going to match the rest of your alpha suit characters now. It's nice to have all the characters in the suit. But I do wish we get the other alternate suit at the end, which is more like Buzz Lightyear's suit from Toy Story. So I'm excited and I hope they do release that. But for now, I am very excited and happy. This is my favorite Mo Morrison figure yet. I really prefer these suits over the original ones that they first debuted in the movie because this looks more like Buzz Lightyear, obviously, the suit design, and I really like the purple striping on the sides. Even though they have different colors, it's still reminiscent of Buzz Lightyear's suit. Peg holes are all the same on the back of these figures, and we can put the laser blade as well on Mo here. You just snap it in place, and that also fits too, so that's really cool. We have these little holes here around where we can just kind of get those accessories in like the gun and holster, the blade. So we have options and that's always kind of cool uh, to have for your action figure to move parts around and it would work with the figure. Here we have Alpha Class. We have our standard five inch figure scale and the new Ranger Alpha suit. I feel Alpha Class always takes the one with the best likeness and articulation because it's a more premium figure. Although I don't prefer the scale. It's nice to get the five inch scale completed, but you can just tell the differences. They always seem to improve the head sculpts, so I really appreciate that, Mattel, that we're getting something different every time. Here's a side view of all three figures, and here's the back view of all three figures. I'm a little conflicted on this one because I do like what Mattel did here with the facial expression. It's a little bit more lively and he's kind of more content looking. This one's kind of just looking straight on, which is kind of not as good in my opinion. But at the same time, I don't know if the proportions are better because these are two completely different sculpts. Let me know in the comment section below, which head sculpt do you think is better, the new one or the old one? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. And here's the moment I've been waiting for all along. Finally, we have our Junior Zap Patrol team with Buzz Lightyear and Sox and they're all in their mission suits ready to go. The majority of the film, I feel we see them in these Ranger Alpha suits. So it's really cool to finally see them together in front of the armadillo ship which was used, I feel, the most in the film when they're going on their adventure. So it's cool to have Darby, Mo Morrison, Izzy Hawthorne, and Buzz Lightyear and Sox here. And I think it's really cool. 
One thing I would love to see now a step further for this toy line would be these guys in their final suits in the film that look like Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story suit. That would be amazing. As well as maybe a ship that scales with them like the one we saw at the end of the Lightyear movie, which looks like Buzz Lightyear's original box from Andy's room. So I'm really excited for that, possibly, and I hope that Mattel makes our toy dreams come true with those releases, because I think that would definitely complete this line for me, for the five inch scale especially. Here's a side view of all the figures. I really love that we can put that laser blade and pegged it right behind the figures. That looks so cool, doesn't it? I think it's great. And although not every figure used this in the movie, it's still cool to see that holstered that way because I just think it looks pretty awesome. And for fun, we have a Zerg here and a Cyclops figure to show you the scale that goes in line with these figures. They look really cool together and definitely looks like they jumped out of the screen. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.